Welcome to another simple beginners tutorial on Photoshop. Common question asked is how to stick two pictures together. Now this is not any sort of effect we're trying to achieve such as merging one into another. All that we want to do is put one picture and another picture together in one bigger picture. So I'm going to start by opening the two pictures that you want. In this case I'm just going to go for these two here. So all that I've done, rather than clicking on one open, I've drawn a line over two, or you can press one, hold down the control key, press the other, open. First thing that we're going to do is see how big they are. So if we go to image size, we can see this one's 1920 pixels wide. Image size, this one's slightly smaller. So rather than increasing the size of this one, potentially inducing blur and so on, we're going to decrease the size of this so we get the same size. So image size and down to 1680 width. Um, there we have it, roughly the same height as well. Now it's up to you whether you put the images side by side or one on top of the other. I would put portrait pictures next to one another and landscape one atop the other simply so that you don't get an uber wide picture or an uber tall picture so these are both landscapes so there's several ways of doing this um, I'm going to press F again to get my full screen first off I would get both pictures into the same document so I'm going to press Ctrl A to select all, Ctrl C to copy, go into my other document, create a new layer with that one there, and Ctrl V to paste. Now you can see the sizes are slightly off, so if we click on that and drag it to the top, we can go to, press the I to view the layer on and off, so we're going to turn that off. But no, we're going to turn it on reduce the opacity to 50%. This isn't the look we're trying to achieve. All that I'm going to do now is press F again, shave off the bottom of those clouds just so they're the same size. It doesn't have to be, but in this case, I'm showing you something as well. Okay, so let's get the opacity back on full. Go to image. And it's important, not image size, because if we increase the image size, it's going to increase everything. We just want the canvas. So canvas is like your piece of paper, and you're adding another increase in the size of the paper. Image size would be increasing the size of the paper and then redrawing the whole image so it fits the new size. So canvas size, you'll see the difference in a minute. Relative, height, um, We want one one dot six nine height. Okay. And that's now double the size. The background is pink because that's the colour we had there, not a problem. So now if we turn that one on, we're gonna move the bottom layer down cannot move because uh, can you see that the layer is locked <coughs> to unlock the layer double click hit enter that's the easiest way to do it there we go often you'll find that, that the background layer is locked that's the easiest way to get around it turn the top layer back on oh, make sure it's selected might help and move that to the top and they have two images, one on top of the other. Um, it's just as easy to do side by side. You can do canvas size or you can use the crop tool. Now, people generally think you can only crop inwards, but you can actually crop outwards as well, like that. Um, crop, get your clouds, move them up there like that. We've got a bit of a gap there so if you zoom in you can just bring them in. Use the crop tool again. It does snap 
that's called snapping where you drag it near and then all of a sudden it comes snaps in which is useful 99% of the time and annoying 1% of the time um, you can disable it in the settings or simply zoom right in so there and snap there we go now we have the two images side by side now just what you know that's so easy and simple and I just feel like we could have something else here so what we're gonna do is move that image there it's still all there because it's behind that layer I'm getting tired now um, so but there we go snap it together enter ok we've still got them on two separate layers now without getting into masks and so on what we can do is do a lasso and just sort of roughly follow this post here perhaps around that seat there and that was wrong I let go so I'm just holding shift to the make my selection and I'll put there. if you want to remove some selection you press the alt key like that but we want to maintain so shift again to add a bit more in fact we can take that seat out so I'm holding down shift I keep forgetting to go all the way around it's because I'm tired there we go making sure the top layer is selected because that's the bit that we're wanting to delete press delete and we've got something that goes one into the other now you can make them blend softly instead of such a harsh light um, that's for another tutorial I'm afraid um, I'm really tired I don't think this has been the best one ever but it's showing you how to put two images side by side or one on top of the other um, it's something that isn't so straightforward to do if you don't know how to do it but now you do anyway hope you enjoyed this one I'm getting tired I'm off to bed now we'll get some more exciting ones up tomorrow with a bit more betterness alright night night everyone <laughs>